If you're vegan, you've heard these before. If you're not vegan, you might still believe some of these. In this video, I'm going over the five most common vegan myths that I hear, and I'm going to debunk them right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cole Hastings. If you're trying to improve your body and mind through a plant-based diet, as well as personal development topics, then consider subscribing. So let's jump right into the first myth. And if you aren't vegan, I do hope this makes you change your mind about possibly going vegan. So the first myth that I hear all the time is that a vegan diet is not healthy. The reality is quite the opposite. So vegan diets have actually been shown to lower the risk of obesity. We have the lowest rates of obesity out of any single diet. And what that means is we have the lowest risk of all-cause mortality. Obesity is linked to all-cause mortality. All the different ways that you can die, obesity increases that risk. A vegan diet can also reduce your risk of cancer. Processed meats have actually been linked with colorectal cancer. And also a vegan diet helps protect against prostate cancer which is the second most common cancer among men. Vegans also have a much lower chance of cardiovascular risk, AKA heart attacks. And if you've been told anything differently, you've probably been told this by piss drinking, water fasting vegans. Second most common myth I hear is that only vegans need supplements. While vegans do need supplements, we are definitely not the only ones who do meat eaters, omnivores, every type of diet is probably deficient in at least one or two things. On average, actually, omnivores are actually deficient in more nutrients than vegans. This is because a vegan diet is so rich in whole plant-based foods, which are just filled with these antioxidants, these minerals, and these vitamins. When you're an omnivore or a vegetarian, you're just eating less of these foods and a lot of meat and dairy products are very low in some minerals and vitamins. Next common myth I hear a lot, especially from my peers who are not vegan, is that veganism is for hippies, as if there's this sort of label on vegans that you must be this middle white aged dude, maybe long hair, man, I'm not helping this. Well, actually I'm young, I'm not middle aged, but maybe you're really spiritual too, you wear tie dye, you're a tree hugger. That is just such a common myth. I know so many different vegans, they're very diverse. We have a very diverse community here. We have all races, all genders, all different types of demographics are within the vegan community. So no, you don't have to be this certain label. You don't have to be this certain type of person to be vegan. You can be any sort of vegan you want as long as you're just being yourself while eating plants. In no way is veganism limited to one social group. So let's get on to the next myth that I hear all the time. And that is the fact that vegans can't eat anything. All vegans eat is salad, Carrots and apples, right? Uh, no. We are living in the 21st century now. Maybe this was true back in the 1950s when veganism wasn't as popular, but any sort of food you can probably find veganized these days. There's a ton of restaurants around me. There's tons of grocery options, even when I go to the grocery store, of vegan food. You're probably already eating a lot of vegan food already, but if you wanna find alternatives to some of your favorite foods that are not vegan, you will be able to find them. Cheesecakes, regular cake, hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken, all of it is possible on a vegan diet. You will be very surprised to find out just how many foods you can eat while being vegan. The next myth is that vegans are weak, protein deficient, and skinny. That was uh, really cringy. Uh, but do I need to say any more than that? Vegans are not protein deficient and a lot of them are not weak or skinny. Such a common stereotype that I think goes hand in hand with fitting that label for veganism, that veganisms are all hippies. There are so many athletes that are going plant-based these days, so they're seeing the benefits of it. And in terms of protein, pretty much every single plant has at least a little bit of protein in it. I'm gonna give you guys some high protein sources though, just to show you that there's so many different sources of protein that are high in protein on this diet. They're probably on screen right now for you to check out. As for being weak and skinny, like I said, there's so many athletes going vegan 
And I know from personal experience that it has increased my size, it's increased my strength. You can make just as much muscle gains on a vegan diet. It's so easy to do this and it actually sometimes, in some cases, will allow you to recover quicker thanks to all these antioxidants and minerals within these plant-based protein sources. I just continue to get stronger in the gym. And apart from myself, I've met so many vegan athletes online that I've had the pleasure to connect with. Along with those vegan athletes, I will show you some professional athletes that have actually gone vegan. We got the famous tennis player Venus Williams, she is plant-based, Jermaine Defoe and Hector Bellerin, these are famous footballers or soccer here in America. David Hay is a boxer that is now plant-based. Barney Duplessis, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, he is a bodybuilder and he is vegan just like myself. And Patrick Baboumian, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, I think I pronounced it right, but he is one of the world's strongest humans. He has crushed so many records in terms of being the world's strongest man. So yes, it just goes to show you can still make gains on a vegan diet. You can still be strong and muscular. And when we look at some of the biggest animals within the jungle, the rhino, the elephant, the gorilla, all of these eat strictly plant-based. So I promise you that whatever you've heard about veganism is most likely false. And I hope that this video has convinced you of that. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like for me, spread the word because I want this to get out to non-vegans as well. I know a lot of vegans watch my channel, so spread this out to your non-vegan friends. Thank you for watching till the end. I will catch you all in the next video.